Today we are talking about Season 3, Episode 22, called Bart's Friend Falls in Love. Ah, uh, Bart's Friend Falls in Love, and the title kind of says it all. You know, Bart feeling a little left out when his best friend gets a girlfriend, and uh, he has to try to navigate that, and some funny things happen. Plus, we got a subplot where Homer is attempting to lose weight by listening to tapes while he sleeps. Subliminal and, weight loss. <laughs> and uh, that doesn't work out too well for him, and I'm sure we'll talk about that when we go through our, our items here. So why don't we kick it off with lines. What's your first line? Tonight on Smartline, I'm okay, but you're fat. <laughs> Americans have grown up with the image of the jolly fat man. Dom DeLuise, Alfred Hitchcock, and of course... Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like the subplot uh, part of this episode quite a bit <laughs> <Me> because <too. laughs> that's funny because then it goes into like uh, if Santa Claus were alive, he'd have diabetes right. and all this stuff, and they, they got Santa laying on a bed with the reindeer. Right, right. <laughs> it's something about um, thirty-two million. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that they're Americans blubber. And that yeah. they're a blubber would fill the Grand, fill the Grand Canyon <laughs> like two thirds of the way up. And that doesn't sound like much, but imagine how large the Grand Canyon is. The Grand Canyon, Canyon is, is quite big, so that, that's more impressive than you think. <laughs> so that makes Lisa think that, mm -hmm. gee, maybe Homer needs to lose some weight. Well, my first line is along those lines as well. I can't have it. Yeah, we got our Vinny here making the mess. But, uh,. So they're, Homer and Lisa are watching TV and a commercial comes on and the line is, We take 16 ounces of fried beef, drench it in rich creamery butter. Then we add bacon, cheese, and a fried egg. We call it the Good Morning Burger. <laughs> and Homer's, oh. uh, I have always laughed every time. I remember seeing this. <laughs> Back when it first aired and laughing at that. Yes. And the funny thing is, is like, I've seen menus with fried eggs on them. And mm -hmm. I think back when this was made, that was a joke. It but was they sweet, actually. But now it's. <laughs> now there are some possibly disgusting There's sandwiches. There's some weird that... burgers and sandwiches out there. And this, this is probably not as uncommon today as it was when they made no. this. But it's hilarious the way they. The, the good morning burger, that's just so funny. The fun. good morning burger. <laughs> All right, number two, what do you got? We're living in the age of cooties. I can't believe the risk you're taking. Besides, what's so great about kissing? <laughs> <laughs> yep, Bart trying to, you know, dissuade his buddy from... Right. From it, that wasn't going to work. No. Nope. But that was his... <laughs> but it's the age of cooties. It's the age of cooties. Yeah, what I think about you? The age of cooties have been going on for a while. Sure, and they will continue <laughs> to go on, I'm sure. Yep. Yeah. Alright, well, my second line is a Homer line. It's toward the end of the episode. And it's, Marge, where's that metal dealie you used to dig food? <laughs> a spoon? Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> so, what happens was, is... Instead of getting the weight loss tape, they ran out of them, so the manufacturer sent him a vocabulary enhancer. Right. And so the whole episode, Homer's listening to that in his sleep, and he's talking these great sequences, mm -hmm. you know, these, these big words. Then he gets fed up because he didn't lose any weight and throws the tape away, and this wears <laughs> off or something, was. and then this is, this is what he couldn't happened. Think of spoon. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't think a spoon. <laughs> Alright, that's fun. What about scenes? Um, what's your favorite scene? Alright, my favorite scene is the Space Mutant 2 scene. Oh. <laughs> so they go to this movie, and I always like when they make parody movies on this. You know, you, you see a marquee and there's crazy title. Like one title on the marquee was Hot Grits of Flying. <laughs> yes. I don't know what movie that would be, but that was a title. <laughs> So then they go to watch Space Mutants 2, and it's just one of them cheesy monster sci-fi movies, but I liked it. It was fun. So there's, you know, this guy and this girl, and, and they're laying in bed, and he's like, I can go for a snack, and she says, so can I, and morphs into a big monster. <laughs> I just like making fun of it. I like old sci-fi movies, yep. you know that, so that, that 
start to coordinate. It could easily be one that you would discuss on your other channel. On my other channel, I probably would, and I would probably enjoy it. So, mm -hmm. uh, what's your favorite scene? The opening scene of the episode. <laughs> I thought maybe. <laughs> yes. So the opening scene of the episode was a parody on Indiana Jones, and um, mm -hmm. so Bart goes and he's sneaking past the underwear that's on the floor and the socks <laughs> and other dirty laundry tiptoeing over that to get Homer's jar of cash, which is a coin jar, uh -huh. and then he grabs it and he's running and Homer becomes the boulder <laughs> and falls down the steps while chasing After him, him and, and Bart <laughs> has to have a narrow escape through the garage and Homer presses the garage door button and the garage door is going down and Bart scoots right under it but loses his hat just like Indiana Jones does, so it's my favorite. That's my favorite. And then scene. Homer's like, an, uh, you know, he's, he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Right. like he's Maggie gonna... has a suction cup gun <laughs> yeah. just shooting at Bart. Yeah. It's just good. It was great. And they even had John Williams' music in yep. that, which, you know, was the icing on the cake. So, all right, cool. That brings us to winners and losers. How do you want to go with that? Let's go with your loser first. My loser is Bart and all of us because we and he had to listen to Martin play the lute. <laughs> so, you know, Bart, Bart's looking for a new friend and so he, uh, Martin doesn't have any friends so they decide to be friends and they, he goes over to Martin's house. They have hat. a play date. Yeah, <laughs> after school. And Martin's like, you can hear me play my lute. <laughs> and sing. <laughs> and sing. And so, I'm like, Bart lost, but I think a little of us lost as well. So. I had that as a contender on my loser list too, but I went with Ezekiel and Ishmael got out of watching Fuzzy Bunny's Guide to You Know What. So I thought they were losers because they missed out on such a great Troy McClure um, mm -hmm. video. They had to go sit in the hallway and pray for our souls. <laughs> well, that is funny because that brings us to winners. And I had Ezekiel and Ishmael down for winning because they didn't have to watch it. <laughs> I thought they got to get out of watching that crazy thing and go in a hallway and do whatever they wanted. So that, I guess it's a matter of perspective. <laughs> That's, That's the first time I, this ever happened on this show where, you know, we were at odds on the... Winner and loser, oh, that's boy. funny. Pardon me for cracking up again in this episode, but it hey, is what it is. It is. Um, what about your winner then? I went with Dr. Marvin Monroe for my winner because he's making Buku Bucks selling out on all the weight loss tapes. Exactly. And, um, I mean, obviously he's getting rid of his vocabulary builder tapes as well because people don't seem to be noticing that <laughs> their vocabulary is improving and their weight loss is not going down. So. And as an honorable mention, I really like that part where they call the warehouse to get, or they put it in a, like one of them tube shoot things and it comes down and it's like, oh, we need a weight loss tape. And this guy goes over and he's like, oh, we're out of weight loss tapes. And they're like, ah, just give them the vocabulary enhancer. And the guy takes one of them off the shelf and he goes, there you go, fatso. And sends it, <laughs> sends off. it off. <laughs> so that's like my little honorable mention because right. that part was so funny. I thought for sure you'd go with that as your favorite scene, to be honest. It, so. You know, it, it was there. The space mutants nudged it out. So it became a second favorite oh, scene. Oh, my right goodness. There. All right. So that is our episode for this week. Bart's friend falls in love. I think we did pretty well talking about that. I think we did a really good job talking about that. Mm -hmm. And uh, we will be coming at you again uh, next week with uh, the next episode in line, Season 3. So, so it will be Episode 23 coming up next week. Mm -hmm. And until next time, Jiminy, Jiminy Jokers! Jokers.